Welcome to the first in a series of how-to videos by Magnatech Material Handling. In this segment, we will be looking at express programming for the Impulse G Plus Mini Drives. Specifically, we will show how to take a drive from its factory default setting and configure it to operate a traverse, trolley, or bridge function. Using the keypad. Use the down arrow key and the up arrow key to change the display and or change the value of the parameter. Use the right reset arrow key to move the cursor to the right and to reset the drive after a fault. Use the enter key to view and save any parameter changes or the escape key to exit without saving changes. Programming Once the drive is mounted and wired, use the keypad to enter programming mode. Press the up arrow key five times until the display reads PAR. Press the Enter key. The display will show A01.01. .01. Press the right reset arrow key two times to move the blinking digit to the right. Press the up arrow key until the parameter a01.03 motion appears. Press the Enter key. Choose a value of 00, 00 for A01 03 if the drive will be used on a traverse motion. Choose a value of 01 for A01-03 if the drive will be used on a hoist motion with mechanical load brake. Use the right arrow reset key, the down arrow key, and the up arrow key to change the value. Press the Enter key to save your changes. The display will temporarily show End, then A01.03. Press the up arrow key to navigate to A01.04, Speed Reference, and press the Enter key. Enter a value of 00 for 2-speed multi-step, 01 for 3-speed multi-step. 02 for 5 speed multi step, 03 for 2 step infinitely variable, 04 for 3 step infinitely variable, and 05 for unipolar analog. Use the right arrow reset key, the down arrow key, and the up arrow key to change the value. Press the Enter key to save your changes. The display will temporarily show End, then A01.04. Next, set the FLA, Full Load Amp Rating, for the motor. Locate the nameplate on your motor to find the Full Load Amp, FLA, and the motor, RPM. Press the right reset arrow key once to move the cursor to the leftmost spot. Use the down arrow key and the up arrow key to navigate to the E menu. The display should show E01.01. .01. Press the right reset arrow key once to move the blinking digit to the right. Press the up arrow key once to change from E01 to E02. 
The display now shows E02.01, motor FLA. Press the Enter key twice. Note, if more than one motor is being controlled by the drive, enter the total of all the motor full load amp ratings. This step is important to provide proper motor overload protection. Use the right arrow reset key, the down arrow key, and the up arrow key to enter the FLA from the motor nameplate. Press the Enter key to save your changes. The display will temporarily show End, then E02.01. Press the Escape key four times to return to the frequency reference display. The drive is now programmed and ready to operate. You can customize the settings to meet your application needs by referring to the tables on page 4-15 and 4-16 of the manual. As always, if you need assistance, you can reach Magnatech Technical Support by calling 866-624-7378 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.